Um, feminism is a, a, a word that has uh, many, many definitions and it's hard to pin down. And so one way that we can understand feminism is by tracing how it has changed over the past hundred years. Um, one way that we think about feminism is in three waves, and, and that's contested, but it's a helpful way at least to end the topic of the way that it has changed. Um, first wave of feminism, when we look back in history, was in the late um, 19th century, early 20th century. And we might talk about this period of time as a rejection of a legal uh, script or a legal law, civil law. Um, women were not allowed to vote by law. Women were the possession of their husbands by law. And so we get these movements, the, the suffragettes, um, who, who sought to um, get voting rights and, and freedom from this civil law that oppressed them from entering into life, participating in culture uh, as men were. When we get to the 1950s, we, um, women have these rights, but in some sense they were now oppressed by a different kind of law. Not a civil law, but now a cultural law, a cultural script. Women were um, doing the dishes, vacuuming, um, dropping their kids at school, making sure that the husband's dinner was on the table and his sexual needs were fulfilled. And there was uh, dissatisfaction with that kind of life. And so out of this period of stifling, of course, came the Central Revolution in the late 1960s. But this is the period of, of second wave feminism. And this was a time where women were, were rejecting this cultural law. They, they kind of burst from the shackles where sex was freed. Um, it, they were allowed to enter employment. They could be educated. Um, these were the things that women were fighting for in this second wave. But then we get to the mid-1980s and um, um, women, uh, intellectuals particularly, they came to understand that what they were fighting for in the 1960s wasn't really um, doing what it was supposed to do because they realised that what they were fighting for was for a woman. And of course, there is no picture of a woman that represents every woman. And so fe um, feminism, fraction, it proliferated into these different kinds of groups of women who were trying to fight for a space for this particular picture of woman. And so this is where that, that tricky word of inter intersectionality comes into play. There's a whole, there are layers and layers and layers of oppression that are brought to light, race and gender, ethnicity and disability, um, and gender itself. And so in this period of time, in this third wave of feminism, they try to tease apart all these different layers of cultural um, um, law that were binding different kinds of women to particular um, existences. So that's kind of how feminism has developed over the last 100 years. Since then, different forms of feminism have, have continued to, to kind of emerge, but that's the general pattern uh, that we've seen over the past 100 years.